Uh, good afternoon. The, it is my pleasure today to speak in a very rapid uh, manner uh, the, in this uh, journal club for one uh, study because it is very exciting. Vitamin K2 supplementation and the vascular health in chronic kidney disease. And this is the message from the K4 kidneys randomized controlled trial. Last year, this was my presentation and you can find it on the YouTube about vascular calcification and the emerging role of vitamin K2. And I was convinced by the growing evidence extrapolated from observational studies and there was no randomized controlled trial documenting the efficacy of vitamin K2 to suppress vascular calcification. Let us go to this randomized controlled trial that is accepted uh, in July and appeared on the internet, on the JSON, uh, on August 13, so a couple of days ago. So vitamin K supplementation to improve vascular stiffness in chronic kidney disease. It is randomized clinical trial. And it is, uh, the design is uh, very nice, double blind, so it avoids performance bias, and it included the patients aged 18 years or older with VKD C3B or 4, estimate GFR between 15 to 45 milliliter per minute per 1.73 square meter. The patients are, uh, were uh, included from two centers from Scotland. The total number is 159, and each arm, the vitamin K2 interventional arm, and the placebo, each arm include uh, approximately the same, 80 in vitamin K2 and 79 in placebo. Vitamin K2 was given 400 microgram daily for 12 months. Sufficient dose for, I think, one year of vitamin K2. It is a good uh, time to test the interventional efficacy this is the age of the patients, above 18, and the, here they can see the age, six to seven years, plus or minus 11 years. And then the percentage of female, 40% in, in vitamin K and 38% in the placebo arm. Assessing vascular stiffness by the pulse wave velocity to assess ca uh, carotid femoral, there is no difference between vitamin K2 and placebo and the results were adjusted for age, sex, and the baseline values. This is the adherence, 91% in HR, uh, were adherent to the treatment, either vitamin K or placebo. Adverse events are the same in this study. And this is the assessment of vascular calcification. Mean aortic calcification score at 12 months mean aortic calcification score at 12 months after excluding zero scores, a change in aortic calci calcification score between baseline and 12 months, uh, no detectable calcification at baseline, no detectable calcification at 12 months, irrespective to the parameters assessed uh, to address vascular calcification. You can see here between vitamin K2 and the placebo, no significant difference, p-value is insignificant. So the conclusions of this randomized controlled study, vitamin K2 supplementation for 12 months didn't improve vascular stiffness as measured by pulse wave velocity. And within this uh, PDF of the article, there is a meta-analysis. This is updated meta-analysis, including new results, confirmed a lack of efficacy of vitamin K supplementation on these endpoints. And this is the conclusion of the authors. Longer treatment periods with vitamin K2, but I think one year is enough. Or therapy other than vitamin K may be required to improve vascular calcification and reduce arterial stiffness and the cardiovascular risk in patients with CKD. Yes, this is a randomized control trial. Yes, it is double blind, uh, randomized placebo randomized control trial, but it is done in uh, one uh, 
country. And I think it is uh, restricted to patients with CKD stage uh, 3B and 4. So uh, um, I think we need further studies uh, because if we have multiple negative studies, this will be a, an answer for the value of vitamin K2. This is why we are thinking of intervention study and to be conducted in Egyptian patients to have an answer on our patients. Until we have other studies, I think the K4 kidneys randomized control trial is a negative study showing no benefit of vitamin K2 for the vascular health. Thank you, thank you very much for your attention. Hoping uh, you all the best. And don't uh, hesitate to send me any questions and to put comments on the video on the YouTube. Thank you and goodbye.